Hey, what's up, everybody? How is it all going today? It is a beautiful, bright, and sunny Saturday. But uh, I want to stay inside and do some crafting with you guys. So, I have another uh, glue folio here that I made. See, look, I even found the little Velcro dots. Nice, cute, little, plain, simple, grayish glue folio. I've got my, my signature in there, my bright colored waterfall. And I have decided that I want to turn this into a sticker glue folio. Yep. We are going to use nothing but stickers to decorate this entire glue folio. I had a lot of fun when I made that all sticker uh, master board and that all, you know, washi tape master board. And so I'm like, I want to do more than just a plain simple board. I want to have like a whole book where I can just stick stickers all over the freaking thing. So that's what I'm going to do with this glue folio. It's going to be completely covered in stickers, you guys. And I'm going to start by using a recycled book that I found on my craft, my crafty bookshelf. I found this book on my shelf. It is Kaleidoscope Sticker Mosaics Neon Nature. And basically what it is, is it has a bunch of these bright neon um, geometric stickers. Some are really super tiny. And then you put them together on a piece of paper and it makes this gorgeous image. I did a couple of them out of this book and then it just sat on my shelf for a, uh, a couple years and I never touched it. And I was like, oh, I'm just not really, I'm just not really into it no more. I didn't really feel like, you know, doing any of the mosaics. I didn't really want to play with it no more. But then I'm like, I also don't want to waste it because there are a lot of stickers still in here. And I mean, a lot of stickers. So I think that's what I am going to use to start my first page in my sticker glue folio. I'm going to go through and I'm going to use a lot of these awesome bright neon mosaic stickers. So I'm real, ex I'm real excited about that. So let's go ahead and start with our first page. I'm going to start right here because nothing says, you know, bam, this is a sticker book, like opening it up and seeing bright neon geometric stickers. So. I am going to do that. So let me just go ahead and turn. See, I've already used this whole page, but I'm not going to throw away the uh, this page because let me let me show you something here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out this little section here. And I'm going to show you to not throw away the rest of this. Get this cut out here. I'm in a very precarious position here. Okay, so it's like this is this is the, the stickers have already been used. I've already used them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cut around this little triangle here, like so. And um, I have here another sticker. If I can get it off. This is going to be the fun part. You definitely would want to use like tweezers or something because some of these stickers are tiny. But see, look, look, I have another sticker. I have another sticker. I think I'm going to stick this one right there. I might do that with a bunch more of these, cut a bunch more of these out and stick them all over here. But see, I'm not wasting like anything. I'm going to cut away the uh, the letters here, but I can still get some more stickers from these blank ones. So I'm not throwing those away, guys. Oh, no. We can still get more out of that. So let me go ahead and find a page that actually has some on it. Oh, here we go. Look at all those bright colors. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm so excited to play with this. I wish there was a better way of getting this out. Hold on a second, guys. Let me see if I can carefully rip out the sticker page without ruining the stickers. Oh, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Hang on. Ugh, give me my stickers. There we go. <laughs> see? I am resourceful. And I'm just going to fold that in half. Look at that! All right, I have my sticker sheet. All right, let us play. Let us have fun. Oh my gosh. See, look at some of those tiny little stickers. And I'm just going to make a really cool geometric kind of crazy cool pen. And it's so, so quick and easy. Now, if you bought one of these books and you still wanted to do all of the uh, little like geometric pictures, you totally can. I'm just because, you know, I got kind of 
sick of it. It's like it was something new I saw. I wanted to give it a try. It's like, oh, this looks pretty cool. I love the brightness. I'm like, I want to try it out. So I did. I made a few of them. Some of them are still on my refrigerator. I magnet them to my refrigerator and they've been they've been on there for quite a few years actually. But uh I haven't really, you know, touched it since and it's like, eh, it was it was fun for a little bit, but now I'm like, I don't I don't want to play with it no more. But I don't want to get rid of the stickers. I want to play with the stickers in my own way. It's like I wish I could find, you know, just like stickers like this that I can play with, but I can only find them in like a book like this. And some of these stickers, they're not, they don't have the greatest stick either. They kind of, some of them still like to peel off. And that's what I kind of noticed with putting them on the, the paper. They kind of wanted to still peel off and not stick so well. So it kind of get frustrating. See, see, like they still want to try and peel off a little bit. And I don't, I don't know why. They just don't have a very good stick. But I'm going to still make it work. I'm going to make it work because it's cool. <laughs> it's so cool. And I'm just I'm just kind of making a little circle area because I'm gonna stick some more cool stickers in the middle. I've got a little basket here of a bunch of stickers that I collected that I used in my junk journaling. And so yeah, so if you want a nice fun book to just you know play with stickers, make yourself a little uh, glue folio, and you can you totally use that. I mean. See, that came right off. I don't know why they don't want to stick. I may have to use, may have to use glue. I may have to use glue, but you know, we're experimenting. We're, we're trying this out. It's like... so this is a lot of fun though. And yes, you definitely want to use tweezers because these stickers are tiny. Some of these are very tiny pieces. It's like, oh my gosh. Very tiny pieces. All, all different shapes. All different shapes and sizes. And it's so cool. I just, I just loved this idea to have a glue folio for nothing but stickers. Let's throw some pink in there. We need some more pink. All I got is like yellows and greens. Let's see some of this bright pink in here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Stick some pink in there. And this way, I am not, you know, throwing away the book. I'm not getting rid of it because, you know, I'm. I don't want to play with it no more because I'm kind of sick of it. I'm still I'm still using it, recycling it, and I'm trying to recycle as much as I possibly can from it. Waste nothing. But yeah, I'd love to be able to just get my hands on some geometric stickers like this without having to buy a, an actual, you know, book, but... I'll take what I can get right now. Isn't that looking so cool? It's giving me real strong, like, like 80s, like 80s, 90s, you know, carpet vibes. You remember seeing those carpets that had all those crazy, cool, squiggly, bright geometric patterns on them? Like a, a roller rink. I remember going to a roller rink and seeing a carpet with patterns like this. It's definitely giving those kind of vibes, like... 80s, 90s roller rink carpet vibes. <laughs> and I think that's so cool. Hmm, let's see. I need one right here. I need some more pink in there. Throw some more pink in there. I'm trying to pack it nice and full. I want lots of Lots of stickers in there. Lots of stickers. Let's see. I want this one right here. Let's grab a couple of these blue ones. There's some blue up here. Stick a couple blue ones in there. 
I think I bought this book at Barnes and Noble. So if any of you guys are interested in this kind of fun book and want to just, you know, try it, I think they're at Barnes and Noble. I always thought about going back and getting getting another one. Who knows? Maybe I might just for the stickers. I might just go and get one just for the stickers. It's not it's not that expensive actually. It's not that expensive of a book. And there's quite a lot of stickers in there. Hmm. Let's do this one like right here, I think. Throw in a few more blues and maybe a few more pinks. I'll stick this one right in that spot. This is a lot of fun, actually. This is this is a lot of fun. I need some more yellow in there, I guess. Stick that one right there. Making sure they're all staying stuck down. Some of these wanna, wanna pop back up. Okay, we need more pink. We need more of these gorgeous pinks. Right there. And put that one right there. <laughs> uh, let's grab one of these dark pinks here. And I'm going to stick that one right there. <laughs> that looks really cool. I could totally, totally go crazy and add more on there. But I want to add some stickers in the middle. Now, I have this... Uh, can you see this, guys? This crazy, uh, crazy bucket full of all these little, uh, these little, little purses and bags and things. Well, each one of these is filled with stickers. I kid you not. They're all filled with different types of stickers. This has got some like ticket style ones. Let's see what's in this one? That one's empty yet. Okay, this one. This one's got some sparkly ones in here. I can throw on there. Ooh. She's cute. Ooh, and I like that one. <gasps> Throw that one on there. Ooh, oh, there's some really cool ones on here. I might go for these. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. What else do I have? That one's got something in it. What's in this one? Oh, this one has some some people. Oh, these are my guys. These are my dude stickers. I don't have very many guys. I need to find some more some more men. Some more men stickers. Let's see. There's some more in this one. This one's cool. I think this has got some. Oh yeah, these have got some of these really cool, these really cool stickers. Oh, I love these kind of stickers. I love these kind of stickers. Lots of really pretty ones. Oh, that's a cute one. Okay, maybe I'll stick that one down. And I like the lion. Any more animals? I might stick another animal down. Any more cool animals? There's a mermaid. Let's see, what else do I have here? Any more cool? There's a unicorn. I could stick that one down maybe. Oh, the horse. Oh, that's so pretty. And sharks. I love these kind of stickers. These are just so pretty. Bird. More dolphins. Maybe I'll just stick with dolphins then. Those are so cute. I are. Oh, there's so many pretty ones. I'm not going to try and go too crazy. I got these three here. And I mean, I got so many more in here. You tell, I'm, a, I'm a sticker fanatic, some really awesome, really, really gorgeous ones. Oh, yeah. When I started getting into junk journaling and all that, I really went crazy with the stickers. <laughs> so I can stick these guys kind of at random in here. What do we think about that? Oh, those are so pretty. Or maybe I should just stick with one and do some of those cool sparkly ones that I saw. Like some of these. If I stick with one and then put some of these really cool sparkly ones around it. Or do I want to go with just these sparkly ones? Because these are cool. Oh, I don't know. Some of these are so cool. I kind of like these because then you still see the geometric patterns behind it. Okay, let's pick one. I'm going to go for the lion. I'll pick one of these. And I'm going to kind of make him the focal point and then stick these really cool bright ones around him. 
There's another one there. I like these uh, rainbowy ones. I'm trying to find more rainbowy ones. What else do I got? Oh, I already got that one. And that one. Oh, that's a cool one. Maybe I'll totally stick him in there. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's actually looking pretty good. I think I'm going to go for that look. What do you think, guys? This is, this is so much fun. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Just playing with stickers, guys. Just, oh man, you can get so many amazing stickers out there. And just, you know, if you just want to decorate a journal or a glue foley with just stickers, here you go. It looks so good. Oh, come here. All right, this is how I'm going to do it. This is how it's going to go. And I can always come back and add more on there if I need to throw a bit more on there. All right, we're gonna start with my lion because he is the center focal point. I could totally go crazy and buy way more stickers. I then need to get some more paper though. Come on you, come on you. I've got to go outside and do some yard work, you guys. While it's nice out and you know, I got time. I have got to get outside and do some yard work. I am procrastinating terribly. I'm not a fan of yard work. I'm not. And with my shoulder acting up, it just like, oh. So I have a friend coming over. He's going to help me put in some heavy patio furniture. Do some more leaf blowing. Grateful. Very grateful for that. Oh, I got cat hair all over it. Why is there so much cat hair everywhere? I'm going to have this one where it's kind of overlapping a little bit. There we go. See, a lot of these little ones, they still want to keep popping up, and I don't know why. I may have to come back through and put some uh, glue on them. We shall see. All right, come on, come on, come on. What does this say? This says it has a world on, word on it. The world puts off its mask of something to its lover it becomes small is one song as one kiss of something eternal some of that's kind of rubbed off i can't read it that's a cute little saying come on come on come on come on come on So close. I hate these kind of stickers. I mean, they're the prettiest ones are always the hardest ones to peel off. I kid you not, guys. Prettiest ones are always the hardest ones to peel off. Here we go. Okay. I wonder if it's easier this way. There we go. Okay, maybe it is just slightly easier that way. Yeah, I might go through and add some more geometric ones later. <gasps> All right, and then we're gonna add our cool little space guy right there. What do you think? Perfect way to christen our new glue folio. Say hello to my sticker glue folio, you guys. It is going to be decorated with nothing but stickers all over, front, back, cover, inside, and out. We're going to just go ham with this. I'm super excited. Maybe one of these days I will have to show you my glue folio collection. Maybe we'll, maybe I'll do that. We'll just go over all of the glue folios that I have. I actually have another one that I'm going to be uh, making and working on. So I uh, will have to add that to the collection. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is a cool idea? You know, a glue folio just for stickers. I think this turned out so incredibly awesome. I'm super excited. I can't wait to play some more in this. I'm trying to figure out what I could stick in the pocket. Hmm. Maybe that's where I should like make my own stickers. Like you can actually get like, you know, blank sticker sheets and color on them and make your own stickers. Maybe that's all I have to do. 
just we'll have to just color our own sticker or something and stick it in there. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know. We'll see. All right, guys. Well, now I have to go do adulting stuff. I really don't want to. I don't want to. But, you know, as long as it's nice out, I might as well. I'm going to go see what I can do to the best of my ability. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and had as much fun as I did. Leave a comment down below of what you thought of this. And if you have any cool sticker ideas or suggestions, then let me know. All right. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, everybody.